You assume I give a damn. That's cute. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I know. It's unbelievable. But we're back with yet another episode of the original Mass Effect, and we are here with Sindarius Shepard, the renegade adept. And this is Hill here with some sometimes witty commentary. All right, we are going to continue with these side missions to get them out of the way in preparation for more story missions. So let's go ahead. I think we need to head to... Is it the Voyager Cluster? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll... It should come back to me. All right, we are going to leave orbit of Nota Crux, and if any of you are following my commentary and whatnot, I did return to the surface of Nota Crux after I turned off the recording, and I was able to loot the structure. I was able to find it, first of all, and then loot it. Uh, and I think we got a, a decent piece of armor uh, from doing that, so it was worth uh, returning to the surface of the planet. That said, where are we? Maroon Sea. I think there's a lot we're starting to miss out on. Alright, Kepler Verge, Century Omega. Okay, this is where we're headed. Voyager Cluster. Alright, bring the Tantalus Drive online. these things are so familiar. Alright, and my instruction on my assignment was to head to the Amazon system. Alright, Joker, let's go. Commander, incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Uh-oh. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. And this is a problem, why? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. Oh, great. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. Shouldn't a bomb disposal unit be sent for this? We don't have anyone trained in that. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager Cluster. It's in the Voyager Cluster? That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out. All right, Shepard's making uh, good with the Admiral there. Um. All right, I guess we will scan these planets. This one sounds familiar, though. Angibinium or Angibinium? Yes, it wants us to land. All right, let's um, check out the other planets first before we do land. This is Dernuka. Dernuka. I, I love pronouncing these uh, names and uh, challenge any of you to play the game and say these names out loud. <laughs> All right, here's another planet, Sonedma. 
Sonedma. All right, we are going to survey it. And we found a small deposit of polonium. Not large, but small. All right, Sybin. Oh, we can survey this one as well. A Turian insignia recovered. Okay, so we recovered a small unmanned probe marked with the Quadum Outpost Insignia. I think, is that a new one? There are so many of these outposts. Tremar. Oh, we can survey this also. Gas deposit. A large concentration of nitrogen. Okay, let's just do a sweep. As you know, there, there are sometimes unknown things in these areas. Alright, so we are headed to Agibinum. Agibinium. Alright. Agibinium is a small terrestrial world with an extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton. Though the planet has sufficient mass to maintain a much thicker atmosphere, much of it has been blasted away. Hmm, interesting. The red giant Amazon is a long period variable star. Okay, I did read that right currently at the nadir of its 16-year cycle. At peak, its energy output doubles, lashing angibinium with intense heat and radiation. The crust is mainly composed of, and I've heard people say this from Britain, aluminium. But here in the United States, we pronounce it aluminum. Pronounce it however you like, not judging. All right, and we have aluminum with deposits of tin. Much of the surface is coated with fine silicate dust, which easily penetrates the smallest cracks to foul machinery. Okay, enough of that. Let's get our landing party together, and I have to remember that I must have someone with electronic skills to, to open up these crates and things. So, I really want to take Rex. So, let's take Rex, who does not have those skills. And I think we'll take Garrus. All right, let's go. I, I hope I'm not making a mistake with Garrus. <laughs> Hold on, let, let's check before we start driving around. Oh, this is a nice uh, reddish uh, hue we've got going on here. Oh, wow. Garrus, we haven't leveled you up in a while. And look at this. Did not have electronics. Okay, well, <laughs> you'll get it now. Okay, and... I want the first aid so we can heal, get healed well, better, whatever. Tactical armor, give him that. Alright, the rest of us are good. Did I give, um, I got some Turian armor here. Did I give it to him? I think I did. Oh no, look, this one is even better. The Predator X? Okay, let's give him this one. I think this might have been the one that I got when I returned... Oh my goodness, yeah, I can't remember the names of these planets. But anyhow, that planet that I returned to that we talked about when I first started recording this episode. Yes, we got that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do a save. Let's bring up the map. Oh, 
Okay. An Alliance homing beacon. All right, well, let's check that out. I, I love the color palette here. Look at this. This is this eerie, eerie red. Very nice. But I tell you, this game, I, I would say it, it came out in 2007, and it just seemed to me that it was like way ahead of its time. And unfortunately, I think the magic has been lost. Because we, we aren't getting games of, of this sort of quality anymore. You know, it's all about those loot boxes and whatnot. I don't know. Is it electronics or decryption that we need? I'm, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Okay, he's got both. All right. <laughs> oh, it's getting nervous. Come on. Mineshaft. That's the source of the signal. This smells. I agree. Your probe didn't crash. It was moved here. Your grasp of the obvious is inspiring. There's still a nuke down there. Check your corners and watch your back. Right. Okay. This is starting to come back. I don't like this mission. Don't like this mission. Hopefully we can get through this in one piece. Speaking of which, we should probably do a save right here. Because we may have to come back to it, but I think we are prepared. I think we will be able to get through this. No enemies? No one yelling out, I will destroy you? Or enemies everywhere? Oh, wait, this is kind of creepy, though. Dark. Alright, come on, guys. You know, we really could have used flashlights in this first game. Doesn't seem to be uh, any crates. I mean, is this door open? No, this one will not open. We got a red light here and a green one here, so this must be the place. screwed us. <coughs> Shepard, at last. Have we met? My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? You assume I give a damn. That's cute. Mm. The strongest leads. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the Verge. You organized the attack on Elysium. Too bad we kicked your ass back into Terminus, huh? I was the motivator. The instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed! I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz! What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. 
An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. You'll see me again, Halliot. Count on it. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. Orders, Commander. We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. <laughs> see if there's anything in here we can use. All right. There's no time to get out. You have to disable the bomb before it goes off. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what I didn't like. Okay, let's see if we can't do this. Uh, oh my goodness. All right. All right, one hard point disabled. Two hard points disabled. Oh no, three seconds, no! We did it. Oh my goodness, we did it. Wow, I didn't realize the time was that short. Okay. Whoa. Alright, let me just slap myself really quick here. <laughs> that was intense. Okay. Alright, guys, let's get out of here. Mm, 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 mm. And no enemies. I'm, I'm disappointed. Somewhere else. This is not how we came in. Alright, let's do a save, because I don't want to have to do that again. You saw you saw how little time we had remaining. Well, what do you know? They kidnapped the Mako. have any sniper rifles. We ought to just get, let me just get in the Mako and use its guns for that extra experience. Okay, we are taking quite a bit. Okay. Quite a bit. Oh, this is the Halliot guy. Get out, get out, people! Alright, barriers. Up. Oh. Alright, Mr. Halliot. Garrus, Sabotage, Rex, Warp. And I'm gonna throw him. Got him! Halliot went through a lot of trouble to draw you here. A pity it ended like this. For him, at least. Now that you're above ground, your suit radio has re-established connection with the Normandy. Time to get the hell out of here. Oh my goodness, look at our Mako. It might be beyond recovery. Um, 
Do we have anything here that we can collect? Nope, no treasure, nothing. I'm scared to get in that thing because it's probably going to blow up. Uh, can we do a save here? Yes, we can. And let's check the map. I thought there were some more things on it. Yeah, like this uh, debris over here. And there's an anomaly. Alright, we're going to have to try to get in this thing. And repair it. Come on, Garrus. I know you got the skills. Wow, that thing is so badly damaged that a full repair cycle barely fixed anything. I guess the core parts of the Mako, but not the outer hull. Can I drive in this thing without it blowing up? Okay, okay, we can do another repair. That cooldown was pretty quick. Wow, this thing is just going to milk me for all my uh, Omnigel. Okay, well, it's prepared, repaired except for that one tire. That's fine. Alright, what have we got up here? Salvage this probe. Got it. Medical exoskeleton nine and sledgehammer rounds nine. Um, I will get rid of sledgehammer rounds. And we'll take the exoskeleton. Thank you. Okay, and let's head over here to the anomaly. Well, this actually turned out to be easier than I thought it would. As I, I tell you, when I played this years ago, I, I struggled with that uh, with that bomb, and you know, actually died. right on top of whatever this is. Anomaly. Where is it? Oh! Seriously? A corpse? Okay. You gotta love it how you have to do a mini game to get this corpse. Oh! 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 And now I got it. Oh no, I can still do it again. Okay. Thought I was going to have to use up my Omni Gel. All right. Turian insignia recovered. This body is a long way from anything and appears to have been here for quite some time. On the body is a book of drawings, including one of the Siglar outpost insignia. Yet another outpost. Okay. Now, I think we are done here. Yeah, this was the beacon, and okay, let's go back to the Normandy. All right, well, I'm confused because this is not what I had set out to do in the journal. Let's see here. I guess it was. Okay. Alright, so we have two more 
side missions here. The Geth activity, one that I like the least. And find Dr. Saleon. I believe we will probably do Dr. Saleon. And we will do that next time. This is Hill, and I'm out. <laughs>